Okay, let's visualize our drainage basin now using arc scenes. So we go over to the ArcGIS uh, launch directory, and there's arc scene. So arc scene has a pretty similar look and feel as arc map, but it lets you visualize in 3D or 2.5D. So let's first add our digital elevation model that we started with. So we add it and so here you see it but it's when you click on it which is I'm um, using this tool here the navigate tool you look at it and on it's perfectly flat so what we need to do is we right click and we have a couple of new tabs one called base heights and one called rendering so we want to take this elevation from the surface and float it on a custom surface. But in this case, it's floating on itself. And what that does, and it jumped out of the way, so now we need to zoom to that layer. There you see it's more 3D. We need to, let's go ahead and do two other things. We'll take the symbology, put a color map on there. It is uh, more consistent with uh, topography. Still a little, not that clear. One thing let's do is we'll take the scene and let's put the background to be black. Still not so exciting. Well, there's more that can be done. So we go uh, right click and go to properties and now under rendering we can do quality enhancement for the raster images to high and shade the aerial features relative to the scene's light position. So I like to do these after I've kind of got things ready because they tend to uh, take more rendering power and can wear down a, a underpowered machine if you have one. So there we go. And that looks a little more realistic. So we can see our, our little watershed. Now let's go ahead and add the drainage network that we computed. That one's the Accum log net. So this drainage network, let me just color code it, is uh, going to be colored from warm to cool with blue being the highest contributing area. This is the log of the contributing area. So this is 10 to the fourth square meters. It's about 20,000 actually but it's starting at 10 to the 2 so we're saying that the drainage network begins at 100 square meters of contributing area and then increases so if you look and think oh where did it go well we still need to have it be floating on a custom surface so let's right click and go to base heights floating on a custom surface now you don't want it to float on itself but rather put it onto the digital elevation model so this is kind of a good little trick and there it is. Okay, so let's turn our DEM back on. And you see they're sort of nested right inside of each other. Sometimes if you take the drainage network, go to properties, and if we lift it by just a little bit, if we lift it by, let's say, one meter, then you can see it maybe just a tiny bit better. Okay. All right, so then the thing to appreciate is if you tip this on its side you get a sense for the shape of the landscape and if we turn off the DEM you see how much relief is on the drainage network and then how much is on the hill slopes which are everything besides the drainage network.